Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be working on how to do an iMovie sniper scope in iMovie 11. Now most of the tips and tricks I'm about to say can work in iMovie 09, but I'll go over key differences in the two. And as a bonus, I'll give you all the movie assets you need for it, so you don't have to do any work. Just follow along and pay attention. And please pay attention. I have done a iMovie sniper scope tutorial before, but it was like 12 minutes long and no one was able to follow along because they have problems so let's go quick now now if you haven't watched the tutorials I've been making from the beginning how to make sure that you have picture in picture available is to click on iMovie click on preferences click on the general tab and make sure the show advanced tools box is checked so there you go that's picture in picture so now let's work on that sniper scope. So some of you may not even have footage and you'd still like to practice this. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. If you go to my YouTube channel right here, uh, I actually have two YouTube channels, so make sure you go to the one called Second Loser. I wish I could change my name. Whatever. You go to Free Movie Assets right there. If you click on that, it'll take you to this area here. This is a photo bucket. You don't need an account. You don't need anything. You just click it and you enjoy it. So here we have the sniper scope stock footage. If you click on that, it'll take you to another web page. You can get a little preview of it. It's pretty handy. All you have to do is you just go file download and then you find the file and you just put it into iMovie. So there, now you have your footage now if you go to I think one of the later pages you'll have a bunch of sniper scopes over here click on one that you'd like to use it'll take you here you can zoom in on it see its nice quality there now these are not normal pictures these are PNG files what PNG files are are pictures that have a clear background once again you just file download or right click save as whatever you like make sure you save it as a PNG file otherwise this center part will be white and you want it to be clear so let's get back into iMovie now let's say we've downloaded the files and put the footage we want go to finder and find your sniper scope that I give to you hit the space bar and you can get a little preview of it as you can see it's a clear see through you can see right through that so there you go just drag your sniper scope and put it right at the very beginning of the playhead in your in your movie click on picture in picture like normal change the duration to you know excessively long there you go now it's very easy to edit from here Grab your sniper scope to the top right first. Drag it to the bottom again. Let go. Make sure it's a nice good spot. And here we are. Now look, once again, remember, it adds that Ken Burns effect. You can't really tell because it's so slow, but the sniper scope is getting smaller. Now let's get rid of that. How do we do that again? Click on the little gear, cropping and rotation. Just make sure you hit crop. There you go. Now let's say you want the sniper scope to be actually a little bigger. Well, all you do is you click on the little gear, hit crop, and make the little square, and make the green square smaller. As the square gets smaller, the sniper scope gets bigger. Now there's one other thing we can do with our sniper footage. Let's say, for example, you want to do a night vision kind of effect. Well, double click on your video footage, go to video effect, and you can choose one of these. I personally pick sci-fi. As you can see, it adds a nice green tint. We can also perfect that a little bit by clicking on the video tab here, maybe making it a bit more darker green changing the colors around 
There you go, that could add some nice effects to it. If you feel like you're messing up, you can always click on revert to original. Right down here. Then you click done. And you basically have a nice sniper scope there. Of course, add the sound effects. If you're doing night vision, you probably want the sound of, you know, bugs buzzing around and and the uh, snaps of the wood, things like that. Make sure you have the audio going. So that should be everything you need for the practicing this effect. I pretty much just give you everything. So here is the sniper stock footage, the sniper scopes. I have a variety of scopes. I also have binoculars here. I have some basic muzzle flashes too. They could be a little hard to see, but they could also help you out with uh, some video editing. I'll go into details of the best way to use these muzzle flashes. So feel free to use all those movie assets in the photo bucket account. My friends and family and I made them, so they're completely free for you guys to use. The sniper scopes do not have watermarks on them, neither the muzzle flashes, so should be helpful for you guys. It'd be nice if you guys gave us a little bit of credit, you know, mention us in your video somewhat. But uh, I understand if you're being selfish. So enjoy the web pages. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.